<laughs> My name is Dylan, and this is Baldur's Gate 3. Um, I'm going to do a playthrough on Honor. This is not my first playthrough. I've got probably close to 2,000 hours now. I'm going to be doing all the quests, finding as much of the gear as I can, putting together builds at the same time as playing. Um, so yeah, if you know you want to see that and maybe learn a few things along the way, in case you don't have the same experience, you might enjoy it. Doing honor, I'm not doing any of the extra custom stuff. There's, I don't need all that. I am skipping cutscenes because uh, I've seen them all so much, but if there's interest in seeing them, let me know. I do think I'm going to go with a, however, a rogue. Rogues are unbelievably good. I'll probably likely do a good path rogue rather than evil, so I'm going to go with Saladin. Um, Urchin is amazing. Sleight of hand proficiencies on top of say times two, stealth times two. Amazing for stealing, especially in honor mode. Um, at wisdom, when you're in melee range, most of the time it's good to have about 12 if you consider being in melee range. If you're not going to be in melee range, 10 is absolutely fine. I don't need intelligence because I am not doing a arcane build. I'm going to do Charisma as the secondary, because conversations are a big part of this game, of course, and to avoid fights where I can. Um, so I've got two points left. I'm going to use that to up my constitution a bit more, because I will be in melee range, so don't need strength. I mean, strength is helpful for, of course, sh um, strength checks, but for most of the time you won't really need that because dexterity. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to customize. All right, this is what we're going to go with. Rogue, Saladin Drow, doing uh, custom origin, not doing urge. Uh, urchin background, so we can get the extra sleight of hand proficiency. And stealth. Go with the Tav, why not? The Dream Visitor I don't care about. If you've played this game enough times, the Dream Visitor you don't care about. I mean, obviously, I'm not going to spoil that as of now, but in case this may be someone's first time watching, which I don't know why you would choose this one, but maybe you're not as interested in uh, the story. I know there are some people who just can't sit through all of it. I don't want that set to ask. Sometimes I want to let them go without hitting them, or and I want to save my reaction for something else, maybe. These used to be used as much as you want, but they changed them to only be once. I don't know if that's just honor mode or if it's all modes. I've only played honor and tactician. I actually haven't seen easy or any of the other ones yet. It's weird to think that I haven't, I have no idea what the other difficulties are. I'm sure a lot of people have that problem. So many people played it in early access. I don't need to talk to you. <laughs> Uh, damn it. Whoa. Uh -huh. he's, he's fine. Lazel. I don't know if I'll bring Lazel or the other. I skipped uh, the whole cutscene. I don't need to see all that, so I choose that option. I might end up bringing Carlac instead of Lazel. Because Carlac is more of a good... Lazel likes evil. I'm gonna go for this one. Lazel can throw this one. Victory awaits. Do a little damage to both of them. Neither one of them should have the damage it takes to actually kill us here. He didn't even attack. Don't waste a step. Little extra damage. Oh, he's just dead. This guy has a light crossbow, and I definitely prefer that over a short bow. It does more damage. Tut tutorial ship's pretty straightforward. There's not much to really discover here. I mean, I don't have all the crazy weird glitches that some people have found. I just play the game, how I play the game. 
I hate that they're called sphincters. Like, what is this area if we are opening sphincters? You aren't living anyways, just die. Give me the experience, not the mind flayers. Shut up, I'll be there in a minute. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go on by. Standing next to Lizelle, so that means sneak attack. That was quick. Touch the sphincter. Enter. Into the sphincter. Now, the fact that we can hover over it and see sphincter, right? Now, does that mean that our character already knew it was called a sphincter? Or is that for, like, narration purposes? Gonna bring along Shadow Fart. The console hums and another sense Oh no <laughs> you feel the <laughs> Am I not you bringing her? The console hums steadily, suddenly then discomfort fades. Leave it to Lazel to free her. Oof. She almost stayed in that pod. Uh -huh. This conversation means nothing. She's right. 66 experience. Not now. We must I don't want to talk to you. It was an accident. Get out of the way. I must touch the Shvinka. Now Lazel means to call her a cane yank. We are nearing uh -huh. Shadowheart is going to get a crossbow. I'm going to take the other crossbow. Lazel is fine with the short bow. Now, I'm going to change Shadowheart's spells here. She doesn't need really any of this, but I want command. Um, this is what I'll use otherwise when we're not on the ship. I, believe this. I want command here because I want the Everburn Blade sword. Do it. And I don't want to have to fight him for it. That sword. This thing's falling fast. Let's see if we can make him drop it. 55. Ah, he saved it. Fuck. Uh, 94. Uh, he's gonna do a little bit of damage. No, he won't. Well, he might delay Zell. If I know it hits hardest, or whatever hits hardest, I'd throw the fighters at it. I usually have the highest AC and health pool, so they can tank it. Alright, I might not be able to get the Everburn Blade here. Let's see. One more try. He dropped it. Sick. Where do I go from here? Uh, Lazel can handle him. Pick up the sword, um, next turn. Because as far as I'm aware, he's not going to. Yeah, he's just gonna keep punching. Yeah, kick his ass. Stupid Mind Flayer. Stay idle. Um, there we go. Was I not the Oh my god, it was just a few steps forward. Swift as my feet can carry me. Taking position. Just gonna run her up as far as possible and make her the easy target. <laughs> Nearly out of sky. I want this caustic bulb. Breathing. I'm gonna take shots at the easiest ones I can. Try to kill them the quickest. Ah. 
There we go. By putting these two closer together, if he tries to run, I'll get an opportunity attack on him. Or he'll have to take a threatened fireball. 85. Perfect. Survival is all that matters. And get height advantage just so I can make that chance to hit higher. And then Lazel will get us out of here. Uh, did I make sure to pick that? Yes. Put that on her. Put that on her now. And she's going to get us out of here. Easy. The helms and the tadpoles. I think in this particular run, I'm going to bring a wizard, a barbarian, me, a rogue, and Shadow Shark. Oh, she'll be a healer. Well, I might have her do something else until I feel I need the healing. Then again, I need the healing at the Owlbear. <laughs> The bear is terrifying. Uh, I don't want that. I'm gonna choose bless just in case I'm having a really hard time hitting something. It's not really anything in these barrels. It's clothing. Always pick up every crafting material you see. Crafting is quick. It's easy. It doesn't take a lot of investment. And the benefit is just it's really good. Potions that last into long rest or quick buffs. It's just, it's well worth it. I don't remember what all of them do, but they do tell you what they do. Yeah, potion of mind reading for Murgrass. I don't remember them all, what they do. But I can say that I don't really use potion of mind reading very often. I haven't had a reason to. Maybe I'm missing something. Make sure I've got fish. I don't have any animal speaking potions. Crouch here. Time to press ahead. Any any time I can help it, I want to get the the opening advantage on the enemies rather than them doing it. And I don't really care if Shadowheart's next to me. Uh, oh, damn, they all get to act before her. Unfortunate. 72, 85. Perfect. As she's next to him, I get sneak attack. I was hoping that would kill him. It won't, so I'm going to get away from him. Shadowheart has more AC and health to deal with him than I do. He's got a dash because he's far away. So just quickly heal herself. Make a swing. Soften up the target for me, you know what I'm saying? Shoot the... Shoot, yeah, there we go. Um, I don't want him shooting at me. I'd rather him shoot at her because he has mind shooting abilities. Pew pew. Yeah. Like that. Uh, whack him. Yeah. Now I'm gonna come up here for height advantage. Dead. Easy. There's a setting for customizing honor mode where you can um, make short rests, not give you full HP. Unresting. I think that's a good one. There's a lot of actual options that I want to turn on, like hiding rolls and um, more camp supply costs, all that. But not in this run. This run is more of a... I'm just going through it, tips, tricks, things that I know in the game that maybe other people don't know. Maybe I can help improve your run. Or you can learn things from me to take to your run. You learn my 
path I take through everything that helps me any of this. I'm pretty sure what was the treating burns as basalm? Was that what it was? Uh, well, I, uh, yeah. Oh, healing. Greater healing. Yeah, the psalm's great. Over here, there's a ruby. Man, this thing used in early access. This thing was worth like 400 gold. And then they changed it. Which is a shame, but also understandable. Progress. Now, big, big lift, Shadowheart. She moved it exactly a centimeter. I'm gonna bring Asterion for later, but I'm not gonna keep him in my party. Asterion, if you've never played with him, I highly suggest it. He's a fantastic character. One of the best. And I'm someone who prefers to play mostly female characters. I just prefer female characters, but the Starians, he's awesome. I th well, As I send him away. Or he'll stay in our camp so that we can continue to talk to him and such. Oh, I just realized that that is your hair coming out of that. If I put this on Shadowheart, that'll turn black, won't it? Yeah, that's your actual hair coming out of that. Weird. Interesting helmet. I want to dual wield. That offhand attack from dual wielding is fantastic. It's amazing on a rogue. I'm also someone who prefers dual crossbows on a rogue rather than a big bow. I mean, don't get me wrong, big bows can do fat damage, but... I like the option to take three separate shots rather than one big fat one. Because if something dies, I can turn to the next target. Anyone? Uh huh. Yeah, Scale. You'll come with us, even though you're going to eat all of my stuff. Yes, quite. I'm going to eat your boots. Fine. Take my boots, Scale. Eat them. I must consume the magic as a crack it would do. Why do enchantment? Because it has a stun. Magic missile because it doesn't miss. Shield to block incoming damage. Who needs witch bolt? Perfect. That mage armor going. There we go. Pick up this muscle. There's a little thing here that has uh, the psalm right here. And there's also a chest down here that if you go all the way down to, you get experience for exploring. And 10 experience may not seem like much right now, but it, it all adds up. Especially when some of the bigger enemies are like 50 experience. Okay, there we go. 10 XP. And then you can just rotate cliffs back. You're really next to it anyways, so it's right here. And there is a cutscene to have here with these tieflings, but I am not interested in that there cutscene. Should mind my step. I want Lazel, but I don't want to talk to the tieflings. Whatever comes, I'm ready. No time to dally. Such an undignified position to find oneself in. You think if you can, always keep your wizards on high ground. Any range DPS high ground. As high as possible. Nice and quiet now. Let's be on my way. I never want to, if I can help it, attack from low ground because it is a minus rather than a positive. Open with the rogue who has the highest initiative usually. I'm going to take... See, I don't have hiding on him, but I have high ground and hiding on her. And she has less health, so she's going to get popped. But since it's coming from stealth, it's going to automatically ask me if I want a sneak attack. So I'm going to piercing shot her. Don't be oh, there we go. Sneak attack. Oh. 
And they freed Lazelle. That was a dumb move. Do I want to? Right now, I don't feel the need to waste spell slots. We're well advantaged in the fight. Big damage from Gale. I'm ready. Um, she, yeah, she saved it the first time, so I'll try with Shadowheart. She saved it the second time. Damn. Don't even catch my breath. Um, I don't want to get next to her. Because she still does have a knife. I want to make it hard for her to hit me. Especially the DPS. This squishy DPS need to have as little chance to get hit as possible. That's why I gave her the Everburn on the ship. <laughs> Hello? There it is. Keep this guy from making any distance and taking shots. Uh, yeah. 75. Perfect. He does, as far as I know, still have a sword, though, so I don't want to get next to him. Yeah, there it is. Getting hit with off balance gives them advantage against you, and vice versa. Gale coming in with a big four damage. Three of Frost cantrip is trash. Most cantrips are trash. At least damage wise. There we go. Yeah. Um, shut up. Wakey lays L. Yeah. This is one of those spots where... I mean, so was the last one, but I, I chose to do that differently, but... I don't want to waste spell slots on these goons, so I'm gonna try to talk through this one. He's, he's a good voice actor, too. This was a good, uh... It's ours. All of it. Yeah, there we go. Being, um, having high charisma and per persuasion and deception proficiencies help with this cutscene. No point in getting, getting the second worms and cheese and all that. I'm also, I'm just not even going to talk to this guy. I'm just coming in. He'll love it. They say, whoa, a friend out of nowhere. You're dead! A special friend. Ooh. That looked painful. I don't want Gale getting next to him. 65, Gale. There you go, it's your biggest hit yet. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, whack it. There we go. Easy, easy peasy. Sending all this crap to camp because I can sell it for gold. Open up. I know I'm a rogue and I do plan to steal quite often. That's one of the benefits of choosing a rogue is just the amount of stealing you can do. There's tons of food here, by the way. You should totally collect it. That way it's easier on your camping. Now there are people on the other side of this door as the rogue usually has the highest initiative, you could open with the rogue, but chances are you're not going to win the initiative roll. You're still going to be behind. Chances are you will still be behind in the initiative roll because there is a rogue in there as well. and a, Or a ranger, sorry. And the ranger is going to compete with you, and chances are you're going to lose. So we're going to have Lazelle open so that if they take any shots that I am unprepared for, they hit Lazelle, who can tank it. And I'll have my character operate the door, opening and closing from stealth. 
so that if I can, not have to worry about wasting Lizelle's action. Open it. Open the door. What is going on here? So you're not gonna open? Oh. Okay. Not even sure this is a door. My patience wanes. Wait. Oh shit! That's right. <laughs> I talked my way through it. They don't even know anything happened. <laughs> I forgot. Yeah, I'm just gonna go stab her. Advantage. What the hell? Who are you? I am your stabber. How'd you get past Andor? Back off! Shut up. I'm gonna make this a terrible experience for them. But this here. I'm gonna hide right there behind that barrel. And put them in here, but being here makes it so I have less movement to go in case they don't come in here and I want to open sooner. Gale has magic missiles, so it just it doesn't matter. If you don't keep these guys stealthed over here, running backwards with someone in combat will put them in combat. I'm turning these off because there will be light on me, giving them a chance to hit me. But if I'm in the darkness, I'm harder to hit. And yes, my sword does in fact count as light. I choose dexterity for Lazel because as a fighter, her two strengths are con and dex and saves. This will make her proficient in dexterity as well, which a lot of the saves for spells are dexterity. All right. I'm going to open up hey, with a miss. Yeah, see the likelihood that you actually take first and in initiative if it's small. Um, no reason to do anything other than shoot him. I want to close this door so that they come running. And then he's gonna throw a fu oh no, don't tell me you're gonna throw an alchemist fire. Well, I thought he was gonna throw alchemist fire at the door, <laughs> that would be bad. <laughs> I'm glad the barbarian came here because I, I thought that would help hide her, it does not. Ah, oh, shit. I'm glad she's saving the rolls. Um, aha, candle. Dip our bow. Screw the barbarian in general because he's gonna rage and start taking less damage, and it's gonna be a pain in the ass to kill him. Don't care, still shot it. Um, I want him dead. I don't care if I use spell slots, I want him dead. Uh, he's got two health, he's burning, but he's gonna burn for one damage each. How much longer will this take? So yes, I am going to use a magic missile. At least here, they still have to run up to me. He's still got an alchemist fire. Nothing important is ever easy. I have no action. That's fine. I'm just taking a look. Metalheart does have an action. But Gale, so does he. Never a dull moment. Move the, my character out. At the ready. Let's finish this. Might catch Lazel on fire in order to shut the door. Yeah, fuck it. She'd be fine. What's the plan? The plan for you to come out here 
throw a caustic bomb, which is going to explode when it comes into contact with fire. Perfect. Very good. Um. Good move. Gail, even though you have wonderful magic. We're going to add some more dot damage to this party, if we can. There we go. Beautiful. Burning and bleeding. Just what we wanted. And if you try to come running in here, you're going to get clobbered. Yeah. Yeah, good job. Oh no, she's going to ice oh, knife it, isn't she? Penis. Tit. Get up, Shadow Heart. What you sleeping? Talk to me. You're fine. <laughs> she slipped. <laughs> Everything's fine. I am fury. I am death. Uh -huh. There we go. And still open the door. Perfect. Now Lazel's closer to her. Is it? See if you fall, Gale. Well, you both fell. It's the Three Stooges. How did all these light? Oh yeah, this thing exploded and ignited them. Ah, Larian. Damn, that's uncomfortable. Did the door close on her? She just like no, she just like that. That's how the pile is. He's like, what are you doing with the door, you weirdo? I will ascend. I will ascend. Okay, I'll catch a break. <laughs> yeah. I'm not wasting a lock pick on that. I'm just gonna have Lazel busts open. Sometimes there's good spells in here, and sometimes it's only jewelry. This place wasn't built for the living. If you don't have a weapon for Lazel yet, or you're running Shadow Heart and Strength, this is a pretty good weapon in here to start with. Especially since you can't exactly. Uh, oops, that was dumb. Like the button. I don't know why I did that. Sitting there talking. You're supposed to click the button before you unfreeze time. I just started talking. Forgot. <laughs> and all this to camp. I'm not carrying this around. Soul coin. Ideally, you want to take the weapons from these guys so that they're forced to just use their spells. Because they're desperate. To use fog cloud it's their thing they put fog cloud cloud on you to blind you and then they shoot you with ray of frost because it gives them advantage against you but they can also be blinded by it so give this to any party member you like it's not particularly important i'm not going to spoil that but you know names written from the book and all that when i press this button here all these skeletons are going to stand up and they want to fight. They don't like that I'm here. But I'm going to fight them from inside of this room here. Which way to the nearest light? That way I can control how many come at once. Well, I can kind of control, like funnel them into a squeeze, if you will, AOE and such, make them easier to hit. My character here, Gales, he needs to come further down here. Nothing will stand in my way. Shadow Heart's gonna come in here. They're gonna heat seek for Shadow Heart and Gale. They want to attack them the most. Me and Lazel are targets, but they don't really care about us if they can help us. Now I'm going to put some obstacles here because it, they take damage before coming in here. Time to push my luck again. 
or they will slip and fall, slowing them down even further. And if they decide they just want to stop and sit at the edge of this, I'll take pop shots with my rogue. Because I have the bonus action dash, I'll just keep running in and out. Mm. That will make me step into the acid. I don't want to do that. Uh... I want to see what happens. Nice roll in my favor. Let's end this. Yeah, he's coming through. He don't care. He fell. <laughs> There's the second stooge. There's the third stooge. You coming in, bud? <laughs> and now they're all piled up. Look at that. <laughs> Conga line of skeletons. Um, let's see. To come into here, or to get to a position to shoot us, I want to make them have to dash. Victory awaits. Now I was but to keep going. I want to make them work for it. Unleash me. They don't use everything standing. You can do it. Yeah, come on in. Oh, we saved it. Yeah, get you some of that. Come on in, friend. Nope. What about you? <laughs> they said no. Oh, down he goes. We have our first contestant. Time to strike. Welcome to the party, friend. Did you enjoy your time here? Still on my feet. The trees are short. Who's next? Oh, we're gonna get a fog cloud. Oh. <laughs> he's not chancing it. He don't like it. He said he's traumatized from the last fall. Made me look stupid. Yeah, I hear you. Made me look stupid too. He's not blinded, he's just staring. Swift and lethal. Ah, that's what I was afraid of. Now they're gonna freely run in here, they're just on fire. Shit. Fight. Let's go. Uh that's alright. Because I think we've done enough damage. Let's see, he's on fire. He's on fire. He's gonna run in here and fog cloud. He's... He might have to dash. If he has to dash, he won't get a hit. If he does not have to dash, he will. What now? But she needs to be in a position where ideally we can make him dash. Let's try it. Yeah, fog cloud it is. He's just dumb. And he said no thanks. Okay. I know you're skeletons, but you guys really are not very smart. What is your intelligence? 14? Nah. Oh, shit, he's free. Here comes a rock. Damn. Why did there was a punch noise when he took fire damage? <laughs> All right. There we go. Izel's gonna stand in his way. So he can't get in here. 
I'm just gonna sit there and throw rocks. Stealth for more chance to hit. Advantage. Ow. It's one of the good things about Rogue. For the ages. Oh. Gale does not have bone chill, so he cannot use that to, for advantage against undead. Um, let's just shoot him in the face. Two damage. Bam. I can turn undead, but why would I turn undead? There's no reason to turn undead. You do this to make you easier to hit, but I don't really want to do that. Eh, yeah, I plan on resting, so... Just make you easier to hit. Or, you're gonna turn around immediately and attack it. Now Gale's getting another rock. Time to strike. There we go, advantage. Perfect. I have to be near him to get advantage, though. In order to get advantage on them with Invoke Duplicity, you have to be within range of the enemy, or the enemy and you have to both be in range of the, the double. Da -da -double da -da -da -da. There we go, dead, easy. No, Gale, I don't want to talk. Shut up. All right, Withers. And the Bone Man who can change our class and stuff. All right. Perfect. I think I'm going to take a break here.